In this video, I'm going over DLive, a brand new streaming service that gives creators 100% of its revenue. In this video, I'm going over account creation, how to get your rewards and redemption, how to benefit your favorite creator that's on there, and then how does the actual platform work. One final note, I will be going over revenue, so if you're interested in how much money you can earn on DLive, I will go into that as well. So with that guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so let's go over the actual D Live setup and account creation. So we'll first start with the sign up button right up here. Now you could use these social medias. Don't do that though. If you ever want to withdraw some of the currency that D Live works off of, you can't really do it with these. Uh, very well. I highly recommend just starting with what's called a Lino account. Uh, that way you can actually put money in and take money out. It's very easy from this screen. So let's go ahead and do login and type Lino. Once you click Lino, you'll come to this screen. You'll be presented with this. Just click sign up. Go ahead and fill all this in. You will need to put your cell phone number down to actually verify your account. Once it's verified, you'll come to this screen, the actual DLive screen with the login account, you'll have everything here. You can set up your logo and you'll have this entire setup. From this screen, the main things I wanted to show you is the actual points. So let's say you want to actually donate to a creator, you would just get Leno points and actually pay money for these. These are much like uh, Twitch's bits and it's the currency that this runs on, otherwise known as Lino. So when I say Lino, that's what I'm talking about. Think of bits like Twitch is. Uh, this is actual, runs on a blockchain, so you can actually convert this directly over into cash at pretty much any time, which I'll go into that in a little bit. So right here, you can see kind of what Lino is worth. Right now, as of the day, 1,000 Lino is $10. Now, let's say you had a 1,000 Lino, or let's say you need 2,000 Lino to, before you can make a withdrawal. So let's say you have that 2,000 Lino, and now you want to convert it back into US dollars. You would need to go into Get Paid, and from here, you would log into the account that we created in the first one. From the Get Paid screen, you would put the amount of Lino, at least 2,000 Lino points need to be made before you can withdraw. Once you put the 2000 in, you just click PayPal and then your PayPal account. Please note in the US, you can't use Bitcoin because of legal regulations. So now we've created our account, we have the rewards and redemption down. How does the actual system work? Where are these servers? How is the video processed? All these things matter a lot. To do that, you need to understand the Lino network and I don't wanna to get too lost in the weeds and that way, I'm going to kind of keep this on a high level. But basically, there's 10 entities around the world that decentralize the DLive or Lino blockchain that DLive runs on. Here is the actual back end of the blockchain, which DLive is constantly running on. You can see all the transactions that are happening between people on DLive and actually pushing points to their favorite creators as they watch their streams. The actual entities that I talked about earlier is called validators. These are typically like AWS instances or GCP instances that have you know upwards of 10, 20, they are scalable. Usually each one of these entities is basically their own data center, at least should be. Now, I don't have any details of who these people are, where they're located at in the world, but I do know based on the latency of DLive and things, I know there's some located in the United States probably some located all across the world. Usually they have one on each continent and they pay for these servers as they go. How they actually pay for the servers is used by block rewards. So each time those pay payouts happen the twice a week, well, they take a little cut of that. And th that little cut gets paid for all the services on the Vino or, or Lino, <laughs> I'm thinking of wine, but Lino blockchain. And that current reward pool is roughly half a million Lino, which as we saw earlier, equates to roughly about $60,000 in the reward pool. That $60,000 is paid out to these 10 validators 
uh, over uh, that usually at that one time. So when that block reward happens, that 60,000 is paid out to those validators and split and pays for all those server upkeep that happens to make DLive run. So usually this is a big corporate entity like Twitch or Google that has all these this is what's how the blockchain does it, how they actually do it for free. This is kind of getting into the weeds. I could go deeper into this, but I'm not going to. This is how the Lino blockchain works and how DLive is able to do what it does as a startup and compete with a Twitch. Now, earlier I showed you how to get paid, but one thing I didn't mention was locking. You can actually lock points. So let's say you had a thousand Lino that you didn't want to spend on a creator but you did want to get paid for having it. You can actually get what's called almost like an interest. It's called staking in some other portions of blockchain, but for Lino calls it locking amounts. When you lock an amount of Lino, it actually accumulates interest over time. So you can actually get paid rewards for locking down the actual Lino you earn. How much rewards do you get? This varies. So I don't know how much it'll be, uh, if you lock a thousand Lino, I don't know what you'll get in return. Usually it's a pretty small amount for a thousand Lino. You might get like three or four Lino as interest. So it's not a whole heck of a lot. It's, you know, roughly probably about a half a percent or something like that in most proof of stake blockchains. But just know if you do lock it, know that you can't just immediately unlock it. If you lock a thousand Lino, uh, you will have to slowly withdraw that thousand Lino. Once you click the unlock process, it will take 12 weeks before it fully releases that thousand Lino. It will release one twelfth of that Lino per week. So each week you'll only get one twelfth of the thousand. Roughly 80 Lino every week or 80 or 90 Lino every week, you'd get paid out until all of that thousand is paid back to you plus any interest you incurred during that, you'd obviously have that already in your balance. So locking points is just, uh, just think of it as almost like a savings account, but it's not something you can just go ahead and grab. Uh, so lock points with caution, but if you're holding onto a ton of Lino, you don't wanna cash out anytime soon, instead of it just letting it sit in your balance, you could lock it in here and make even more money, which is pretty cool. So let's talk about the risks of this. One, I've already kind of touched on the locked point 12 week wait period. Why that matters is you could run into market manipulation. There's people that hold lots of Lino. Like we already went into these validators. These validators hold a million Lino, which means they have enough influence if they were to start to cash out a large amount of Lino, it would drive the price of Lino down, meaning creators would get paid less, you'd get paid less for your cash out. These are issues, so you gotta watch out. Uh, with any of these decentralized things, you have platform issues when massive amounts of withdrawals happen. You could have manipulation that happens but cryptocurrency is very volatile and also it's very attractive to scammers because of this. You can manipulate these coins and the prices on these coins fairly easily and it's not illegal in most countries. And since this is a worldwide currency, you could simply go to those countries and manipulate this price if you had enough influence and enough investment in it. These are owned by Chinese venture capital firms, which obviously have a ton of investment. I don't know if they have direct access to the Lino, if they're able to crash this at will. Um, these are concerns. I don't think any of that is a viable concern, but it still is in the back of my mind. I think it could happen. It's plausible. However, I think unlikely. The more likely scenario that I think is a more bigger risk to the actual future of DLive and the Lino blockchain is the fact that I don't know how well this will respond to a ton of volume. PewDiePie is going live in four days. When that happens, this platform is going to see more traffic than it has ever seen before. How it handles the giant influx of users when PewDiePie jumps on, I'm going to be holding my breath. Now, in the interim, there is some money to be made. If you can accumulate a lot of Lino between now and then, the price will go up. And this is where it gets tricky. 
in four days and 12 hours, that price is going to go up in that time. We know that. But after PewDiePie goes live, if he has a very successful run, the price will keep going up. However, if he has a bomb, let's say the platform just completely tanks and it can't hold all the users, then the price of Lino will just go in the crapper and it'll be worthless. This is very, very interesting because you're getting paid in Lino as a content creator. So you could either become very wealthy or you could basically be doing this for free because Lino is now worthless. (laughs) So this is something to consider when doing it and it is a major risk. So this is how well the platform does is really tied to the success or your success as a creator. So you want DLive to do very well if you are heavily invested in it. So with that said, what is the possible revenue that you get from DLive as a creator? So let's just go ahead um, and click on one of these streams. We'll click on her. She has about 100 people watching. She's been live i think for probably about an hour or so she's been on the feed she already has about three thousand lino this right here tells me she's probably making about 30 to 40 dollars in the hour or two that she's been sitting here jabbering about whatever (laughs) i don't know she already did this eight hours ago she got almost 10k for that which weights to about a hundred dollars that's pretty impressive uh, as far as an earning goes she's probably pulled in i you know, probably she'll probably go for another hour or two here and she'll end up pulling in probably two hundred dollars today in lino and if she holds on to that lino as i said earlier the price is only probably going to go up between now and pewdiepie's launch date and then who knows where the price is going to go but she's going to earn some money so very interesting so that was an intro to DLive. I hope you were able to gleam a lot of things from this platform. I'm looking forward to see what happens in the next four to five days, especially when Pewds gets on here and blows up the platform. Will it survive? I don't know. I mean, I'm really curious to see how it holds up with that much traffic as YouTube is, you know, have this massive in- infrastructure and this is a relatively new project. It's less than a year old. so. How it holds up during this stress test is really the thing that I want to know. If it holds up well, it may be the future. It may kill off Twitch or maybe even YouTube live as far as that goes. I'm really curious to see where this goes. I have high hopes for it and I'm wishing it is the best and I'm on here. As you saw, I actually streamed most of the creation of this video on DLive just to get my feet wet in the actual platform. And I have to say, it was a pretty pleasurable experience. So all around high marks for me, but again, the true test comes in about four to five days. And with that said, guys, I will see you on the next video.